Byron. Thank you, Mrs. Speaker. Um, Madam Speaker, sorry. <laughs> um, I, I, I rise today very concerned about some news that just happened recently. Over the last several days, families across Virginia have been receiving a colorful, attractive postcard in their mailboxes. Intended for the children in the household, this mailer uses a tactic made and famous by Joe Camel in the 1990s. But this time, the product being promoted isn't tobacco. And it isn't a large corporation employing the tactic, it's the government. These unsolicited, kid-friendly postcards look harmless, even fun. In case you haven't gotten one or you don't have children in your household, I'll show you what they look like. And this is the um, postcard that is going out to people's homes. They invite our teenagers to use what amounts to a state government-sponsored sex text hotline to anonymously ask their questions about sex, relationships, and gender identity to a stranger to get answers in 24 hours. And the postcards carry the approval of the Virginia Department of Health. Who's mailing them? Where did they obtain the addresses from? Who's paying for it? The postcard doesn't reveal what will be privately shared with the children who follow its instructions. Deceptively, it indicates the child will receive innocuous information from IWantToKnow.org about the birds and bees. I looked at several of the websites. It's anything but innocuous. The organization managing this program at the behest of the Virginia Department of Health, the American Sexual Health Association, provides kids with responses reflecting the organization's and the far left's values on issues such as abortion, LBGTQ, sexual relationships, and many more. Um, should your child go to their website, they'll be asked to solicit others by becoming an ambassador and sharing the ASHA's agenda to their friends on social media. Some of the questions and, and things they refer them to, they had um, an area they're talking about abortion. Now recently, we determined that we didn't want to give information to young adults, but now we're directing our teenagers to get information on abortion. And the site talks about comments from real women. Now, I'm not really sure what a real woman is um, in the text that they use and the comments that they made that are very encouraging regarding um, an abortion. But, um, you know, maybe I needed to read a little bit further. But, you know, no longer content to indoctrinate our college-age students, government appears intent on spreading the values of the extreme left to our children at an even earlier age. And this is very concerning. Were parents asked whether or not they wanted their children to receive these postcards? Of course not. Who needs parents when Ralph Northam is the governor? Maybe the plan is to make the parents comfortable while the Department of Health has a discussion with their kids, their kids, our kids. It's wrong for the government to substitute its judgment for parents without their permission. These mailers aren't innocuous, they're insidious. And knowing this governor and the agenda of the new Democratic majority, fear that this is just the beginning of many things to come. And I raise a tremendous objection to this going out to families.